and welcome to Ticker Tapes. Today, we're back in the world of ETFs. Investors are in an increasingly cautious mood as they try to come to terms with the idea that they might soon find themselves at odds with the Federal Reserve, whose loose monetary policy has supported equity markets for so long. With that in mind, many investors are looking for places to hide out, somewhere they can park their money and sit out the turbulence in relative safety. One area of the market that has proven to be very resilient year to date is value stocks. We can see that in this chart that plots RPV, the Invesco S&P 500 Pure Value ETF in black, against its pure growth rival RPG in red and the wider S&P 500 index in blue over the year to date. The chart measures the relative percentage changes between the three. RPV has added a modest 1.43% this year, however RPG lost 21.78% and the S&P 500 index is down by 12.95%. RPV has performed exactly as a safe haven should, steadily and without extreme price moves. Another area of the market that's been attracting attention and inflows this week is dividend-paying stocks. SDY, the S&P 500 dividend ETF, saw more than $2.3 billion of new money come into the fund over the last week. The capital injection was notable because it represented more than 10% of the funds under management in the ETF, which now stand at $20.88 billion. SDY tracks a weighted basket of dividend-paying stocks within the S&P 1500 index and is down by 3% year-to-date. That may well be because almost 20% of its holdings are in financials, a sector which is down by 10.6% in 2022. However, the financial sector has also enjoyed average five-year dividend growth of almost 97.5%, an important consideration when you're thinking about protecting your investment from the ravages of inflation. Global macro themes such as the kinks in the global supply chain also played out in ETF performance last week. Four out of the top five gainers last week were natural gas ETFs. UNG, the U.S. Natural Gas Fund, added another 12.47%, taking its year-to-date gains to an impressive 114.5%, whilst BOAT, the Sonic Shares Global Shipping ETF, added 9.9% over the last five days. Though interestingly, those gains were made without inflows and on relatively light trading volumes, it will be interesting to see whether the $32 million fund, which was launched in August last year, can hold on to those gains having traded higher in four out of the last five sessions. The world's richest person, Elon Musk, has questioned whether the growth in passive investments such as ETFs has gone too far. Speaking via Twitter, Mr. Musk suggested that ordinary shareholders were at risk because decisions are being made on behalf of actual shareholders that are contrary to their interests and that this was a major problem with passive and index funds. He added that there should be a shift back towards active investment, saying that passive investing has gone too far. I am sure we haven't heard the last of that debate.